Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the lightweight bout between um, Trey Ogden versus Kurt Hullabaugh. And how do I feel about this one right here? I'm going low confidence, Kurt Hullabaugh to beat um, Trey Ogden. I think they match up very, very evenly. Both guys have very solid grappling. Both guys are, have pretty good striking. At first, um, Trey Ogden didn't really have the best striking, but I feel like He's been improving rapidly in the striking department. I mean, it's a real good fight. You know, he could pull off a win, you know, pull off a minor up. So maybe he's the favorite by the time the fight comes. But this is a, definitely a very winnable fight for him. And probably a fight he should win because he should have won that last fight. So this would be like, yeah, I, I should have got that last fight. So I'm going to get this. I'm going to do one even better and get a big win out here. But I'll lean against him. Not with no great confidence. Obviously, low confidence here. But I feel like, you know, where Trout typically has a you know a mental advantage or some type of edge in fights. I feel like he don't really have that here as much. And I feel like a lot of guys are interested in the grappling department. So, and a lot of times when you know these guys like let me, let's maybe say mention Zell Huber. Zell Huber was so respected of his grappling that it kind of limited his striking. There's some other fighters that probably would have finished him on the feet. And they were limited by striking. You know, his last fight that was should have been in with for him. His phone, you know, he just showed up. That was just really just showing the wrinkles in his striking improvement to be a take advantage of a fighter who you knows look at the swing for these big power shots. He was able to find the little clean shots down the middle. I feel like um in this one, uh, I'm not not Ogden. I feel like in this one, Hollaba actually is the more experienced fighter. That's typically the advantage that Ogden typically has over his phone. He's typically the more experienced fighter. But this one, Hollaba has more experience. I think Hollaba's MMA grappling is more solid and more savvy than Ogden. So I feel like he will be more primed to go for the takedowns and will likely win the like the positional battle. Because again, it's not just pure BJJ. So he may potentially be the better PGJ practitioner in pure BJJ, Hollab not Hollaba. Um Ogden maybe, but in MMA grappling. I think um, Holloba has, you know, better takedowns. I think he has better submissions. I think he misses his grappling, you know, his ground to pound well. I think he has better ground. I really don't even think Ogden really has any notable ground to pound. I think anything, probably got some decent submissions, but no real notable ground to pound or no real danger there. More so just get a position. If you make a mistake, you exploit it. But no real threat. Like, oh, he could just bust me up with elbows. I got to worry about getting finished with the ground to pound. Also the submissions and all this stuff and the heavy top pressure. Don't really feel much danger from Hullabaw. I mean, Hullabaw, I mean, you got <laughs> much danger from Ogden out, maybe outside of maybe the, the submission itself or getting submitted by him itself. But, um, and I feel like Hullabaw can outstrike him, outposition him, and outwork him. And I'm, I'm going to see this as a very, very competitive fight, probably a split decision. But I think Hullabaw's ultimately, I think his experience will come through heavily in this one. It's not like it's a great youth advantage, like, oh, um, Ogden is 29 years old or 30, 31, and he's some super high output fighter. He's not. So it's not going to be nothing too crazy. I feel like um, anything, I feel like Hollaba should be able to outwork him. And I think he has experience should be able to come through. And I think he should be able to, if they mix in ground, and, and I think they probably will, I think he should be able to get the top position and make the better adjustments and, you know, be able to secure that top position and land some effective ground and pound, get some effective control time or some su substantial control time. In a fight that's likely to be very close, incompetitive, very high skilled, very underrated from both guys. But um Hullaba just been a little bit more savvy and been able to make the better adjustments and be able to outwork him and win more minutes in this fight. So and, and, and also key moments in this fight as well. So in this one, I got Kurt Hullaba via decision. 